How's it going? You've been home a lot. So have I. I miss seeing you at school, but we'll be back soon enough. Today, I wanted to talk to you about your senses. You use your senses to gather information. You have five of them. One of your senses is your sense of sight. You use your eyes to see. Another sense is your sense of smell. You use your nose to smell. Do you know another one? Another one is your sense of taste. You use your tongue to taste. Another one is your sense of hearing. You use your ears to hear. And the last one, anyone know it? Your left one is your sense of touch. You use your fingers and hands to touch. I want to read you a story about five super cute little bunnies who use their five senses to explore. As we listen to the story, I want you to be listening for times when the bunnies are using one of their five senses. See if you can catch them all. Our story is called Five Little Bunnies. Simba. This is a story written by Linda Hayward. Once there were five little bunnies and they were as much alike as sisters and brothers could be. They all looked alike they all hopped alike. They all wanted to do the same thing at the same time. Maybe some of you are like that with your brothers and sisters or your cousins, friends. If one little bunny wanted to sit on her mother's back, then five little bunnies wanted to sit on their mother's back. How cute are they? If one little bunny went hopping off after his father, then five little bunnies went hopping off after their father. But although the bunnies acted the same, each one had a special name. And although the bunnies looked like each other, as brothers and sisters do, each one was special in another way too. Do, too. One warm spring day, the bunny family went out. Five hungry bunnies began to nibble the grass. Four of the bunnies nibbled on grass wherever they happened to be. Nah, Gwendolyn Bunny. She tasted here and she tasted there until she came to a patch of clover. The clover tasted sweet. This is the grass I like to eat, said Gwendolyn Bunny. Is that bunny using one of her five senses? She is. Her sense of taste. Gwendolyn Bunny, with her little pink tongue, has been good at tasting since she was young, said Mother Bunny. Tongue young. Five curious bunnies began to sniff the flowers. Four of the bunnies sniffed the flowers wherever they happened to be. Not Oliver Bunny. He smelled here and he smelled there until he came to a bed of violets. 
the violets smelled nicer than all the rest. These are the flowers I like the best, said Oliver Bunny. Rest best. Oliver Bunny, with his little pink nose, sniffs at things wherever he goes, said Father Bunny. Nose goes. Five careful bunnies watched for things that moved. Four little bunnies watched the ground wherever they happened to be. Not Geraldine Bunny. Miss Christy loves turtles, huh? She looked this way and she looked that way until she saw a big brown dog. Woof, 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 woof. The dog was the kind that chases, just like Simba. We should all find hiding places, said Geraldine Bunny. Chases places. That dog was never a real surprise, since Geraldine Bunny has very sharp eyes said Mother Bunny. There's another sense, your sense of sight. Five playful bunnies heard many different sounds. Four little bunnies listened to sounds wherever they happened to be. Not the old bunny. They're using another sense their sense of hearing. They hear sounds. He listened here and he listened there until he heard something which made almost no noise at all. It was an earthworm growling under the ground. Wow, really good ears. Now that's a very interesting sound, said Theobald Bunny. Theobald Bunny, with his long pink ears, listens closely to the sounds he hears, said Father Bunny. Ears, ears. How cute are they? Five tired Oh, bunnies rested in the sun. Four little bunnies rested in the sun wherever they happened to be. Not Millicent Bunny. She hopped here and she hopped there until she came to an old gray stone. The old gray stone felt hot. This is the warmest spot, said Mill Millicent Bunny. Hot spot. Millicent Bunny learns a great deal by paying attention to how things feel, said Mother Bunny. Deal, feel. Another sense, her sense of touch. Five little bunnies began to play. And although each one was special in a different way, they were all happy to be out on a warm spring day. They're playing in the sun. Miss Christy loves the sun. So those bunnies used all five of their senses, right? There was the sense of Taste, right? There was the sense of smell when they sniffed the flowers, remember? Their sense of sight. They saw all kinds of different things. There's that sense of sound again. 
Do you remember what he heard? Theobald heard a worm. That's right. Good job. And finally, that sense of touch. That last one you just read about. Great job, boys and girls. See you soon.